In this video, I'll show you how to establish an order in B-Mobile now in which you take one or more of your products and sell them to a customer. There are two main ways of going about this. We'll be starting from the home screen in B-Mobile now. The first one is just simply to select orders and then in the top right corner it says new. And This is how you establish a new order. I will select, I'll just select Candles R Us for example as my customer. Um, I can choose to add items on the left here. So I'll take any one of these um, as an example. I'll bump the quantity up to four for example. And um, I also have an option to set the price on this screen. If I want it to be any different for this customer, I can change the price right here. If I want a discount for a customer, I can also change uh, or add a percentage discount that's knocked off the price. Another interesting option here is if you want to credit your customer, it's pretty simple. You just take the quantity, which I'm using that minus, that red minus button, and I'm bumping it, bumping it down to a negative number. And that will actually credit the customer for whatever amount those two items are in addition to a change in price or discount if you choose to set those. I'm going to go ahead and bump this back up um, into, the into the positive numbers and I'm going to go ahead and save this number. You also, before I forget, you have an option to change the description um, if you so desire from whatever the product is called to something more specific for the customer. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. So I'll save that and now that I'm back on this screen, um, you'll see a blank PO uh, purchase order box here. If you hit the blank portion of that box, um, if you go ahead and tap on it, then you have the option to um, actually uh, set the PO number um, if, you have a, if you're dealing with a company that wants to have a specific purchase order number. So I'll cancel out of that because I don't want to do that. Um, and so we're back to the screen. Um, your next step is simply to hit pay in the top right corner and I'll hit pay. Um, this screen allows me to send an email of the invoice. I can check and uncheck these boxes here to the customer if I have an email set for them and to myself if I have an email set for myself under my co company options and settings. There's another video for that to show how to set your company settings. Um, I can choose um, by selecting this on account which is the default uh, down arrow. You see that I have um, a couple options for payment here. I'll go ahead and leave it on, on account, but you have those options there. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, the top right corner, and uh, you can see now that um, it's we have a sixth item on our list of orders. Uh, before we only had five, so that bottom one is that new item that I had set at $36 that I just established there. I want to show you one more way to set up an order from the home screen that might be a little bit quicker for you on a day-to-day -day basis. The top option here, customers, uh, just select that, brings up your customer list. Um, again, we're not going to orders first, we're just going to customers. Select a customer if you're wanting to set up an order for them. And here's the customer information. We, so we went about it through customers instead. And again, top right corner, you'll see a button now that says order. So all you have to do is press that and you're setting up an order for your customer just like we did from the orders menu. This might be a little bit faster for you. Either way, very similar functionality. Um, that should give you a basic overview of orders. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call and thanks for watching the video.